just a little bit about malt and how it's made and, and what we do with it. Malt is effectively sprouted grain, so any grain, wheat, rye, barley, maize, oats, um, you, can malt, you can malt them all. And actually here, if you have a look, you can see that this is some malt that came out of the maltings this morning. So malting is essentially just about controlled germination of grain. In the news at the moment, uh, there's a lot of there's a, an increase in products such as high protein, in particular. So people are taking more interest, I think, in the nutritional profiles of the food that they uh, eat. Um, it's crazy, I think, that the baking industry uh, doesn't uh, capitalise on this a little bit more. Um, but to be fair, one of the problems with using uh, high levels of grain, and there's something like 50. This is about 50% grain and 50% flour in this product. Um, is actually some of the quality issues that can arise from that. In particular, things like uh, the crumb drying out. Um, uh, when you're putting a lot of grains into recipes, uh, what they can do is suck the water out of the crumb um, uh, because the dough contains more water than the grains that you're putting in, and you get a drying and an accelerated staling effect from that. What we've did what we've done is actually developed a process that actually stabilizes that so it can be used as an ingredient in um, bread. And one of the benefits of using this, this is pre-cooked, it's a pre-cooked grain, it means the grain's already hydrated and what we found is that even when you have very high levels of uh, grain uh, going into a bread recipe that actually this problem of moisture migration, so the fact that the grains would normally soak the, uh, take the water out of the dough, seems to be reversed, so what these grains are doing is actually feeding dough back into the, sorry, feeding moisture back into the, uh, into the crumb.